Hello and welcome everybody, I am Herbert and welcome back to another video. So in this video I wanted to cover uh, the following. So I have uh, noticed, so today I was actually looking at my hard drive, uh, I was just looking up at some files and I noticed that my C drive, uh, which is uh, over here, uh, as you can see, it's full. So it's, 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 it, I don't even store that much files on here, so... Um, as you can see, uh, I do have about like 800 gigs, but you know, I know that's about you know, about 700 gigs, I thought. But looking at it now, uh, I can see that my page file that says has grown immensely. So this is not right. Uh, and when you actually want to identify the reason why those page file that says files grow, uh, it's most likely because of a memory leak. Now, uh, what is a memory leak? A memory le leak is simply a uh, some software on your PC. Uh, and you know, as you can, as you might know, you know, software uses RAM uh, memory, which is system memory, um, and sometimes it has some sort of bug in it, and it just grows out of proportion, and it's sometimes it just gets huge. So that's the issue here that we're facing. So um, in my case, so if I would go into my task manager here, and I would go over to performance. So by the way, you right click your taskbar, then you go to task manager. I would see that my memory is, it's overflowing here. So that is a big, big, big issue. Um, and if I go into the resource monitor, if I click open resource monitor, I can actually um, get the resource monitor. If I can find it, it's over here somewhere. I can actually drag that in here and I would see that the search app.exe is using up a ton of space. So this is the reason why my um, disk is full. Now we're going to fix this by just uh, killing this app here. And we're just going to define the, uh, we're, just going, we're just going to look at the process ID here. So. Uh, you cannot kill it from here, so you can't right-click anything over here, and you can maybe uh, find it in the processes, but so over here, we'll see search app, and we can actually end task here. So if we do end task, it should disappear here as well. Um, just to make sure that that's true. So you can see that it's not really going anywhere. It's not stopping. So the way I fix this, so usually it would go, but as you can see, it's not going. So the way I would fix this is I would do a CMD, go run it as administrator. So what I would do then is I would do task kill slash PID, PID, which is stands for process ID. And then you would just write down this number here. So 8604. And that's going to uh, terminate this app. And this process is going to be terminated now any moment now it should disappear uh, from um, from memory uh, maybe we just have to hit the refresh here to make sure that it's actually going sometimes it might take a while you know sometimes it's uh, really stuck in there and then it can really take a while to to stop um, or we can actually do PID maybe we can force it um, maybe we can do a force command. So that's actually going to be a good idea. So if I would do task kill slash question mark, this will give me a lot of options here. And we do the slash F. As you can see, I uh, did it wrongfully. I did the, um, I didn't use a capital F. Oh, wait a second. I see what it's what it is. So slash F. Yeah. So now we forcefully sent it to uh, the search app. So it's going to be forcefully stopped. Um, last thing we did here was we sent a stop command. But you know, that might be an issue. Uh, because it's stuck and you know, sending some sending like, it's like the same if you would have a ta a task that's not responding. Uh, and you would try to shut it down with a uh, task manager. That's what we actually did here. Uh, so now um, we actually uh, corrected that by using the slash F, which is a forcefully uh, shutdown of the search app.exe. And as you can see, it's grayed out now, um, so which means that it's actually stopping. 
And as you can see, our physical memory used is only 12% now, so we can close that up. And let's see here, the task manager, performance, as you can see, it's only eight gigs. So our memory leak is, our memory leak has been stopped. Um, we can actually uh, look at the page file.sys here. Now we can refresh selected and now if we refresh it, we'll see how large it has grown. So it's still at 115 gigs. We can perfectly go over to our uh, system. We can go into our advanced system settings and then we can click into uh, advanced performance and then we can go into advanced as well. And then we can click uh, over here at virtual memory change and then we can just untick this. And what I would recommend is uh, setting a custom size. So, or you can actually go with no page file. Uh, that's up to you. But I would say the initial size uh, can be like a gig or something like that. And the maximum size, I would say, let's say eight gigs is like the maximum size that you can grow into. Uh, so, you know, a page file um, for my PC specifically, 60, uh, I have 64 gigs of uh, memory. And, you know, I don't think that, you know, my page file will, 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 will be used uh, uh, to this extent that it's actually going to use the full, um, uh, the full 8,000 um, uh, 8, uh, megabytes. Uh, but, you know, it's just uh, better to uh, set it a little bit higher. So whenever your, your PC runs into trouble, then uh, it can at least use eight gigs. So we're gonna just click okay. Okay, and then we click apply. And now, of course, to uh, to make these changes have effect, we need to restart the PC. So we're going to do that right now, and we'll be right back with you. So after one reboot, we so after rebooting the PC, we can see that the fa the page file that sys has shrinked tremendously. Uh, as you can see, it's not really the file size that we expected it to be, but you can't really. Um, you can't really be very precise when it comes to page files. You know, if you say it's going to be maximum eight gigs in size, it's going to be a little bit different when you actually look at it on a PC because of the differences in, you know, how, how megabytes are calculated by windows. Uh, now the, the, the issue is, you know, this is a reoccurring thing because the reasons why memory leaks actually happen is because of bugs. It's purely a software bug. In our case, it is a software bug in the search app.exe. And the search app.exe is, um, it's a, the search app.exe indexes the files on your disk. So, Whenever you search something in Windows, whenever you search a file, um, this way, by the indexing, by Windows indexing your files in memory, uh, it can easily find the files that you want to look for. So basically what the search app.exe does, it constantly watches your file system and it just keeps an index of all the files on there. So that means that whenever you are searching something windows doesn't have to search the entire disk again it can just look into the index and in the index is going to be a lot faster than searching on the disk itself so uh yeah this is an issue because this is a memory leak and it has to be fixed so seeing that this app here so the search app.exe we know that the search app.exe is a windows built-in uh application so I would expect that this bug in the search app.exe would at least be fixed in one of their updates. Now, I am running Windows 10 Pro. So if we go over here, as you can see, my update is already ready to be installed. And I am running, uh, I am running a Windows 10 Pro 21H1. So that's the version that's installed. So that's the uh, the update package. So that the uh, that's the update version. So that's pretty old, actually. We're now uh, Sunday, March 13th, uh, 2022. Uh, yeah. So we're running behind about a year in updates. And as you can see, it's been installed on the 15th. And you know, 
this isn't something that you're going to be encountering if you're running Windows 10 Home. Windows 10 Pro uh, has a very, very uh, late update schedule, meaning that any updates that come to Windows 10 Home uh, are going to be uh, ready for Windows 10 Pro at the same time, but you're going to have to install them manually. Uh, the same thing goes, uh, the same thing uh, over here, you know, uh, I did receive Windows updates, you know, there were Windows updates, but the major versions, 21H1, uh, they're always a bit lagging behind on the Pro versions of Windows. So if you have a Windows 10 Pro, uh, which is often the case if you buy your... Uh, your codes on Kingwin or, or uh, G2A, for example, you know, those cheap websites where you get cheap uh, Windows 10 keys, they often have Windows 10 Pro uh, licenses rather than the Windows 10 homes. Uh, so always take a, take a look at that. You know, if you have a Pro version or even Enterprise, uh, you're always going to be lagging behind a little bit in updates. And that is because of stability reasons. You know, when they release something to Windows 10 Home, basically Windows users, so home users are sort of uh, lab rats when it comes to uh, Windows updates. So they just release it to the masses and the Windows 10 home users get the updates first uh, but you know they have been tested a little bit but you know people at home uh, will will be testing the updates first and then once they uh, fix all the bugs reported by the Windows 10 home users then they uh, will uh, will try to push those updates to the Windows 10 Pro PCs uh, via automatic updates you know as I said you know Windows 10 Pro you always have the same updates uh, available to you but, you know, automatic updates are always going to be postponed a little bit on Windows 10 Pro because they want to test those updates on Windows 10 Home uh, first. So, for me, version 21H1, uh, we're going to have to update that here. And if we go back, I have prepared the feature update to Windows 10 version 21H1. And I'll be installing that now, and that should fix my uh, that should fix my memory leak issue. I haven't really looked into whether or not that was an actual uh, issue with Windows uh, in version twenty one H one, or maybe a, a, at a sp specific uh, patch. Uh, but I'm pretty sure that they probably fixed it in one of their updates. Um, so. You know, always have a look at the application that's actually using the the amount of RAM, so that's actually causing the memory leak, and identify that. And make sure that you have the latest version, because often memory leaks are fixed in patches, uh, and as is the case probably here with my, uh, with my Windows installation. So if you have memory leaks with a specific game or uh, a specific uh, piece of software that you're using uh, maybe maybe office uh, has this issue maybe you know whatever game you're playing has this issue always have a good look at the uh, software manufacturer and then you can maybe uh, try to find uh, if it is a known issue and whether or not other people are having this issue and then you can fix it by installing the updates so I'll be restarting my PC now uh, of course you know I, 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 I just want I just want I'm just going to do that and you know I'm not going to show you anything after this uh, I just want to give you a few tips on how to actually fix the issue on your PC so that's it for me now I hope you fix your memory leak issue guys uh, memory leaks are difficult to diagnose sometimes uh, so I'm going to leave it at that. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.